hey besties welcome back again to my channel if you like to see how i made this homemade pancake syrup with very basic ingredients keep on watching so the ingredients you need water we need sugar equal amounts i have half cup of water half cup of water half cup of sugar i'll be using a little salt I'll be using vanilla flavor one teaspoon you can use half tsp i'll use salt half tsp i'll use black trickle one tsp and i'll use one tablespoon of corn syrup you also need your measuring spoons and your silicone spatula so the first thing you want to do is to get your pot ready pour in your sugar into your pot okay just spread it out a bit and then go ahead and add in your water make sure you pour from the sides first you don't need to pour everything okay so we have some water left and we're going to take this to the stove top Let's go to the kitchen. So for this recipe, I prefer to use my white granulated sugar. All we are waiting for is for it to caramelize. Make sure that you are using medium heat. Make sure you're not using high heat. Just medium heat is fine. Allow it to keep boiling. It will boil down until the water evaporates and you are left with the caramel. But just keep an eye on it. Don't go too far. We don't want to burn this caramel. We just want it to caramelize a little bit this particular recipe doesn't require brown sugar but then we're still going to need black trickle i'll let you know once we get to that point where we need the black trickle for now you can see it's boiling just keep an eye on it and keep watching it till it starts to get golden brown by the side at this point you don't need to put anything inside just keep watching it everything will start melting and the water will evaporate we're almost there you can see we're just waiting for it to boil down at this point you want to reduce the heat to the barest minimum to the lowest heat so that all these bubbles can you know go down and at this point you have to keep an eye on it you just want it to be light brown so now it's ready i don't know if you can see this part now the caramel is ready Okay, you just want to be careful. I'm removing it from the heat for now. Okay. So once the caramel is ready, you want to go ahead and pour in some water. It's going to bubble a little bit. Just pour it gradually. And give it a stir. On very low heat. It will dissolve on very low heat so i'm going to add a little bit more water to it so you can double your quantity or you can just do this quantity that i'm doing which is half cup this is what it will look like this is what it will look like at this point all we need to do now is to add in our corn syrup so i'm going to use um let's use half tablespoon twice so one it's totally optional it's totally optional you can skip it and now we're going to use one teaspoon of black trickle one teaspoon black trickle and then our flavor so I'm just going to add a little flavor to it And a little salt I'm using half teaspoon salt you can increase your salt if you like so I'm going to use half teaspoon of salt just to tone down the sweetness and we're just going to give it a stir if you are still watching up to this point thank you so much please like this video and let me know in the comment section if you're going to try out this recipe remember we added vanilla flavor you can add vanilla flavor you can add butterscotch flavor right now our pancake syrup is ready we need to allow this cool 
down completely when it cools down it will thicken just a little bit but this is fine this is fine it's ready just need to allow it cool down and then bottle it the result you get from this consistency is a pancake syrup that is not too thick but if you want if you want your pancake syrup to be a little bit thicker allow it boil for like a minute or two before you put it off so let me allow it cool down and i'll show you the results so this is the outcome of our pancake syrup it has cooled down once you can put your finger in it and it's just cool to touch it's not warm it's not hot then it's ready you can see the consistency and it tastes so delicious if you do not have corn syrup or black trickle what you can do is follow the same procedure but allow your caramel darken just a little bit make sure it doesn't burn once your caramel burns it will be bitter so you want to avoid that also if you're a sweet tooth you don't need salt or you can just add a pinch of salt the reason why i added this amount of salt is to reduce the sweetness of this pancake syrup okay so all we want to do now is to pour it you can see look at the consistency and with half cup of sugar and half cup of water i think i added just a little bit extra water just a little bit but you can see the results i have a plastic here i've punctured it up here and i'm just going to go ahead and fill this up cover it like this and place it in the fridge it can stay for three months or more and your pancake sauce is ready the pancake syrup is ready you can use it for pancakes you can use it for waffles you can use it for basically anything you like just to pop up as a syrup so this is what it looks like if you enjoyed watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye guys